got the notice in our voter ship now. Hi, everybody. Hi, everyone. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, Tuesdays from 11:30 to 1:30, except we're we're closed for the from 11:30 to 1:30. Yeah, except we're it's complicated because we're closed for a few weeks for the storm season. Oh, so like right now. Yeah, but normally. Uh, I'll just see what. You just put 11.30 to 1.30. Hi, everyone. There you are. How's my hair? Before we do anything, look at that part. That is just laser straight. So that means the show can start. How is everybody? How's Barbara Fisher? Thank you, Barbara. Christine, nice to see you. Young lady, good evening. And uh, we're, we're here. I'm teasing you with this camera. Um, I'm going to tease you a little more. I'm going to turn the, turn the light on. There. We have more light now. Just teasing you for the heck of it. We're here. And it, here's, uh, I'll show you what's going on. There's a few lounge cadets. Uh, here at the piano, we've got uh, my co-host, Mary Kunz Goldman. Uh, hi, Mary. And uh, look who's walking into the frame. It's our very own Barry. Barry's here. And he's shaking hands with Bob Davis there. The Bob Davis, world-renowned jazz pianist. He's on loan from another jazz firm tonight. I'm not sure if he's working over there, right, uh, right up the street at Pausa House. I know he's going to be there tomorrow night um, for a CD release party, and I plan on being there to see that. I want to get my hands on that Bob Davis CD. I'm sitting here fussing around with my the regulars to the programming. No, I go through this. Routine. Let me give you the whole split screen, so you could just so you could finally see what's going on here in the room. There's several, several lounge cadets. A lot of your home favorites are here. We've got McNeil. I always go through this where this thing will not start. Barbara Fisher is very nice. They're talking about you. Everyone's in the room is talking about how nice Barbara Fisher is. Everyone knows Barbara Fisher. She grew up in Buffalo. We're finding out more about her. Finally. Oh, okay. Everyone could watch but me. I'm trying to... All right, there's always a little bit of technical technical stuff to deal with to get the show rolling. But you guys know where everything is, you know, make yourselves at home as always and grab your favorite uh, cocktail and your favorite pet in the other hand. Don't mix them up. And uh, I'm tr I've got my own TV set here so that I could watch the show and see. Here we go. It's finally kicked in. Okay. I can hear me talking about Barbara Fisher on time delay, so everything's working good. I could see your comments and, and critiques, so I could officially, officially start the, the show here. We'll... 
officially started. There we go. Get organized. No, there's paperwork in every aspect of our lives, right? It has a lot of paperwork, especially this time of year with the tax preparation season. And uh, lounge pianists, it, it's no different. Look at all this paperwork on my desk. I see the top of my head is cut off. Let's see what That's a little better. Yeah. I was screwing around with the equipment during the week and I, I didn't get it situated back. Well, Harry's been really doing great things. Seen you since you got married. I'm, I'm great. I see your beard's been coming along fine. Yeah, it looks good. How, how does that work out at the airport? Probably shoo you right through, right? But I don't blame them. They, they wanted to keep an eye on you. Let me, let me give you guys the, uh, the Zach camp. Yeah, you can see Zach. He's over on your your left there in the the white colored the, the the man with the, the terrorist beard there. He's the furthest thing from one though. He's he's just a happy go lucky guy. He just happens to look like really dangerous. It looks like you could just unclip that beard from his face. That's how well developed it is. I tried growing a beard once. It was every color of the rainbow. But that was a long time ago. Now I can grow a beard anywhere on my body. That's what happens when you get older. Stephen Graham, uh, he's a, he, he makes movies. He's a cameraman and editor. He's done some big famous movies. He just came straight from Vietnam, right, right to Lounge Academy. His, he's all screwed up. His clock is all screwed up. He's off by 12 hours or something. And Barry brought back the, his painting with a beautiful frame on it. Back, a string on the back so you can hang it up with the hardware, all the hardware that's required. Can we lean it on a chair for now or something? Up on a chair? Might be safer. There's the, the painting, ladies and gentlemen. Behold this painting. It's a painting of the old house downtown by Barry. Not only not just play piano and cut living humans open, but he can paint. A lot of multi-talented people here tonight. That's what show business is all about. Oh, that's great, GT. You guys will be staying right next door at the Curtis. Well, that's a that's a great idea. What a great way to celebrate your birthday. I like that. Now I can see it. I like that frame. It's very more original. What you do, mate? Wow. With your router? I like it. Not too fancy. Yeah, but you know, it looks real. It looks like real wood that was like made into molding, like the way they used to build houses. Yes. It's got 
got the mitered corners. I didn't think of it to put good in gold or anything like that. <laughs> yeah, we're, you know, we're simple. Yeah. That's great. He made the frame. Well, that's the painting over there. You can see it. And I'm here with uh, Mary. I've got a bunch of, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I've got a, I've got a bunch of coffee mugs. Hold one up, Mary. Let's see what uh, camera we should get. The over the shoulder, or do you want the corner? The corner. Oh, okay. Well, I think I think they know what the. So I I put a bunch of them. I'm trying some marketing. I put a bunch of them right on the, a whole assortment. Some of these aren't even available to the public yet because they were based on sample colors I got. We have, we have, uh, these, these are uh, the City of Buffalo Department of Coffee and Donuts. St. Patrick's Day Green. Halloween Orange. St. Patrick's Day Green. New Baby Mug for a baby, baby girl or any, or a baby that identifies as a girl. Yeah, we have pink, pink, orange. So anyway, I put them, I, I put them in the middle of the piano, hoping that uh, some of the uh, studio lounge cadets might, maybe they'll buy one, you know. So, so they're there. We'll we'll just see if they, we'll just see if they take the bait. We're using a little more aggressive marketing around here, right? see the painting um, you can see it best from it's it's just on the other side of the mic it's it's leaning against the, well you can see where it is yeah I guess you have trouble you all you have to just wait and see it's gonna be up on the on the wall when you get here on, in person Barbara I'll start, start with my, what's kind of become a standard one to start with. This makes me think of Guy Boleri. He started with this song one time when I was recording a lounge academy, and that's what introduced me to the song. And Guy Boleri is one of the greatest lounge sensations living and playing. He was here on a night quite a bit like this. Uh, back in those days, the piano was on the other side of the room. And he was the opening act, and it was his opening number. And it was kind of like this, where the room was already warmed up. People were talking and kind of just not really focusing on the piano, and, which I think was fine with Guy Boleri that, that moment of that night. He seemed almost a little, little shy and hesitant. It says a lot that somebody that big in show business has those same kind of reactions that, that the rest of us do. So he kind of eased into it very shyly. Why? Why should it die? Take a chance when romance passes by. Why? Why 
shouldn't die. No of love. Why? Why wait around? When every age has a sage who is found. But upon this earth, love is all that is really worth thinking of. It must be fun. Lots of fun. The hour is it's coming when you'll be kissed and then Barry will be kissed again. All debutantes say it's good. And every star out in far Hollywood seems to give it a try. that ending. Guy Blair didn't play that ending like that. He has too much self-restraint to give in to those piano Tourette syndromes. Well, it'll be great having our chief engineer on site. It'll be hands-on. Oh, we won't need one tonight, you know. This stuff is so complicated, and that's why I, you know, I use the electronics. It's just part of my daily practicing. If I'm practicing the piano, I'm practicing with the cameras. I, I put them through their paces, and uh, otherwise, you know, they're out of practice too. I, I got something that that broke this week. That's broken tonight. That, so I have. Because I was using it every day, I, I found a workaround. But one of the one of the ports that the big camera's going to just brand new, these high, nice computers we built this year, and one of them's already got some kind of weird thing with the 3.1 USB port. We've got one one piano key that's out too. And I didn't have time to fix it. That one there. It's a, it's a real high C that you don't use a lot, but especially when it sounds like that. The rest of them are doing them pretty good. And, and uh, Barry, I got the uh, I got the gluing today, Barry, or, or yesterday that I was telling you about. Barry, Barry did, likes to fix stuff, mostly the insides of humans, but it's, it's all the same. So you can relate to this mechanical stuff. This is a two ounce of super glue, I and mean, that's a big bottle. And it's, yeah, maybe you could do a shot, double, you could do a, a jigger of this, there's so much. Imagine what they would do to you. Hate to think. Oh. Really? You glue it? The crazy glue? Yeah. Amazing. It was probably from like a, a CVS pharmacy or something. Yes. I like that. So you just used it. Yeah. You gotta do what you gotta do.
So the first one, the their nose will fall off. That's so cool. What that super cool. Well, the, the piano technicians, you know, when I studied this stuff years ago, they used, um, if you wanted to swell the wood around the pins, they'd use uh, glycerin. And it would soak in and swell. And it was, it was, it was not considered a, a long-term fix. It was kind of... It'll buy you a little time while you're shopping for a new piano. That's not the case anymore. They use this stuff, and they've been using it since one technician has been using it since 2002, you know, on hundreds of pianos. Over, and it uh, hasn't failed yet. So, I mean, this is... Yeah, and drilling holes and... You know, Cyan, yeah, GT. I, I, I knew. I'm not surprised. He knows how to say it and spell it. I'll never get it. I mean, it'll always be crazy. Who? The thing I always think of, remember about crazy glue. When I first heard about it, I heard it from my, my dad because uh, he had a small CPA tax practice at the Staller, where we were earlier on the second floor, and he had this client that was a really successful, good client, and he was the, the he, he told me, because I used to intern with him and help, so I guess that made it okay for him to like, tell me little things about his clients, because normally you don't discuss it, you know, but um, so I'm giving him a, a pass here on that it was okay, since I was kind of part of the firm, and uh, he didn't tell me too much, but he told me the guy was making, now this was back, it might have been the late 70s, it probably was, late 70s, and this crazy glue was a new thing, and it was all called crazy glue, no one knew it was called cyanocrolate, and uh, he was making, in those dollars, 1970s, the guy was making half a million a year, 500 grand a year, as somehow he got some distribution deal or he was a salesman or the distributor or something, but it had to go through him. And uh, he was making big, big money on that stuff. Well, what would that be today? That'd be like five million a year, right? A lot of money. So it always stuck in my mind how much money the guy was making. So of course he had all kinds of tax complications rich people do, and that's where my dad came in, so. so we got a little piece. Part of my college was paid for by Crazy Glow. Tonight's uh, great cadets here tonight. They're all over there. Let me show you guys at home the uh, VIP table there. It's really show business central over there you got movie maker steve graham just off the plane from vietnam bob davis we all know a wonderful jazz pianist we'll try to get some sets out of them and tomorrow night's his big cd release party up the street at pausa we'll be there some of the lounge cadets will be there hoping to say hi to you and uh, he's talking to McNeil, one half of the McNeil Lundy showbiz couple team, comedy knockabout. We've got, we've got Crystal. She's in the beauty end of show business, knows how to make people beautiful. We're explaining things to the home audience. There's next to uh, Crystal, that's our very own uh, Ryan Lysars, president of WBIG TV. And the terrorist next to him, that's our very own uh, Zachary. I forget his name, I haven't seen him in so long. Every time I see him, he's getting married. Now, now we don't have to worry about that stuff. You look more relaxed now, everybody does, post marriage. 
looks very happy, ladies and gentlemen. That's what happens when things work out. And then at the piano, of course, we're joined by my co-hosts, Mary Kunz Goldman and, and Barry. Here we are. Oh, Mary's, Mary, Mary's sick of me talking to you guys. So, so we'll, I'll give you the split screen so you can watch all the glamour and intrigue. She wants some Glenn Miller. How about this one? Orchestra Wives. Why do Robins sing in December? Long before the springtime is due. And even though it's snowing, while it's are growing, I know why. And so do you. Every evening, whispering your name as they do. And why do I have the feeling stars are on my ceiling? I know why, and so do you. Lewandowski. This is Glenn Miller from Orchestra Wives. Great movie. One of the two movies Glenn Miller made before his tragic plane crash, World War II. Imagine what he would have done with the rest of his time. This heart of mine was doing very well. The world was fine as far as I could tell. Suddenly I met you and I dreamed of Gamor. John, I woke up singing 
sentimental overture in this heart of mine. It's dancing gay now. I taste the wine. As long as life endures, it's yours, this heart of mine. Good news, ladies and gentlemen. Kathy Moses is here, and she brought she brought Nick. Now the party is gonna get really get rolling. Because Kathy's here. She brought Nick. Now it's Lounge Academy. Hold my beer. Nick and Kathy Moses. Maybe we'll get a song out of Nick if we're lucky later. What do you think? I hope he's in the mood to sing. It's hard to tell by looking at him what kind of mood he's in, you know? He's got that kind of poker face. Or is that a poker? There he is, ladies and gentlemen. I'll let you take a look at him. There's, there's Kathy right in front of the camera. I think I think Nick's standing next to her. You just can't see him. Oh, well, there he is. He's, he's working the crowd. He's working toward it. Here he is. He's right here. There he is. He's shaking hands with Barry. He's, he's, he's. That's why you have such a good haircutting business. He knows how to network. Yes, I know. Daryl, is that you out there? I thought I saw. I thought I saw Daryl popping up on the screen. Well, give us a thumbs up or any finger you want. We'll be here all night, ladies and gentlemen. We got a lot of talent in the room. Let's grab a cocktail and a pet. Put your feet up. Keep us in the background. Daryl out there. How are you, sir? Nice to see you. Some hoagie karma? I go, sure, sir. Kiss me and the world around us shatters. How little it matters. How little we know. How little we know.
matters How little we know See, Nick knows that. He knows the old songs. Lizzie's out there. She's going to see us next week. She's going to be She's going to be on the show next week from this side of the camera. I don't know. Yeah, where? Uh, well, Donna? Tina's, Tina's in Florida. Donna, I don't know where. Donna, where are you? Barbara Fisher isn't here because she's she'll be in that seat in a few weeks. And then Caroline should be there. She's not here. She's our new cadet. She operates that seat very well. She knows her music. Fortunately, Maxine is around, I hope. Maxine Lamar, are you, are you out there? We need you tonight. We miss you. She knows her music. She's a great jazz artist. Nationally known. But you already know that. Are the stars? It's a question for Maxine Lamar. Here comes Kathy, ladies and gentlemen. Are the stars? Remember we had that? There was a woman here once. And she got up and she had done karaoke and she never sang with a piano before. And she was familiar with the song. She said, can I sing this song? And she had it on her iPhone, the, the lyrics and stuff. A woman that was here once, one time. Younger woman. And she got up and she, she did this song and, and she knocked me out. She's got, I was waiting for her to come back just so, she's got so much, I don't think she realizes it. You know, her phrasing, it was came from the right place. You know, it was really good. I always think of her when I do this song. Are the stars out tonight? I don't know if it's cloudy or bright On a con I only have eyes For you Help me out, Nick. The moon, the moon may be high I can't see a thing in the sky. On a con I only have eyes for you. I don't know if we're in a garden. Are we in a garden? I don't know if we're in a 
Before your time. I hear the pret I hear the traditional pouring of the pretzels. I don't know where, where Richie gets all those pretzels.
some major talent here now. Hi, Susan. Let me give you a good look at Susan Peters. There she is. See all that? See all that blonde hair in front of the camera? There's a Susan Peters underneath that. Yeah. Beautiful hair, huh? She's got a great lounge act, ladies and gentlemen. She's gonna. We're gonna get her to come up and do some numbers. She's fantastic. something for Kathy Moses. If I looked at you and began to sing I'm not as crazy as I seem to be I think Mary was going to sing after all, it's spring. And if I collapse, bits of straw and string, I'm only doing what those robins do. desk there and it'll come in handy throughout the evening. Well, thank you, Kathy. Well, this is a big night here tonight. History. I feel, I feel like Forrest Gump just witnessing history. Here's one for Paul. We haven't done this one in a long time. Tomatoes. I 
like tomatoes. Man who knows how to make an entrance. Let's call the whole thing off. But oh, if we call the whole thing off, we must part. And oh, if we ever part, part will break my heart. So we better call the calling off off. Let's call the whole thing off. That was Gershwin, of course. I feel like I'm at I'm on this is your life. I'm waiting for my first grade teacher to walk in. Seems like everybody's here. They, at some important juncture of my my life. The guy who hit me in the car when I was five is here. The dog that bit me is here. Well, we're going to have to pick some really good songs out because we got to we got some real show business people here. Here's a Cy Coleman by request. Somebody requested this last year. I'm sentimental, so I walk in the rain. I've got some habits, even Richie can't explain. I'll start for the corner, turn up in Spain. Why try to change me now? I'll sit in daydream. I've got daydreams galore. Cigarette ashes. There they go on the floor. I'll go away weekend. Why try to change me now? Why can't I be conventional? People talk, people stare, so I try. That's not for me, because I can't see. My kind of crazy world Go passing me by So let people wonder Let them laugh, let them frown Do you know I love you Till the moon's upside down Don't you remember I was always your clown why try to change me? Why try and change me? Why try to change me? Shy Coleman?
best record he did on RCA, I think. Thank you. Thank you, Paul Kokoda. Thank God. Well, let's find some more good ones here. Maybe get off the beaten path a little bit. There's so many songs, you know. Here's one. They always play on telethons. Tomorrow is supposed to be a clear day, right? On a clear day. Is this a great telethon song, Susan Peters? Rise and look around you. the pain of the creative process. Susan just gave me that knowing, that knowing now. She knows. She's been in front of audiences.
to me. They're all aces. Life is to me just a bore. Faces are all open spaces. You might just be George Barrymore. You came along saying, I think you're wonderful. I think you're grand, but I may be wrong. I may be wrong. Nineteen twenty-nine. Sullivan and Askin. Thank you over there at the VIP table. Appreciate it. Nick, I keep having that dream, and it's so darn real. That dream, it's just so real. I keep having it. Did we get married? <laughs> I mean, that wasn't a dream. <laughs> I had the craziest dream last night. Yes, I did. Had it before, too. I never dreamt it could be. Hi, Betty. But there you were, in love with me. I saw your lips next to mine, so I kissed them. You didn't mind it at all. When I'm away, such a break never happens. How long can a guy go on dreaming? If there's a chance that you care, then please say you do, my baby. Say it and make my, make my crazy dreams true. Awake, such a break, it never happens. How long can a guy go on dreaming, Nick? If there's a chance that you care, then please, please say you do, my baby. Say it and make my, make my crazy dreams come true. setting your pets down so you can clap. Don't try to clap while the cat's in your hand. Get out of town. Before it's 
out of town. Be good to me, please. Why wish me out? Why not retire to a farm? And to charm the birds of the trees. Just disappear. I care for you much too much. When you are near, close to me, dear, we touch too much. The thrill when we meet is so bittersweet. Darling, you're getting me down. Town. Here's one in the same key. The night is like a lovely tune.
might feel weird. That shakes the power. She moves me with her smile. CD release party tomorrow night. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock, is it, Richie? Eight till nine. Hell yeah. Bring your piano. Uh, well, no, it's... I'm there to watch the... Oh, I'll be attached to me, but... That's Bob's night over there. Susan will have...
I can smoke my pipe away with your wee head upon my knee. We will thrive on keep forever. Nothing but kisses with Mr. On little blue chairs, you'll sew, you'll true sew. And Robinson Crusoe, not so far from worldly cares as our blue room, far away upstairs. There's our blue room far away up there. Susan, why don't you get up on the bandstand? Maybe we could go through a song together. Steve just brought that from Vietnam. One to two, what's a one to two second pause? Oh, I see. Try rebooting your whatever you're watching on. Ross is trying to find you on it? It's just on my Facebook page. It's nice to see David here tonight. How are you, sir? All well with you. Have a seat at the piano. I'd like to thank Crystal for making an extra special night, as always. treat for you and Betty. We wish you were here, Betty. Lounge Cadets say hi back. Let me see what spring is 
was like a water and Infection, now you got rid of it? Oh, no, no, I, I was a quarter of a while. Oh, 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 look, oh. 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 that's nice to have that. Uh. Yeah, it was pretty scary. Two, three weeks ago, oh. I was still in recovery. Oh, that's yeah. My voice is all different. Resonance. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, those sinuses are all opened up. Yeah, amen. Huh. Fun. Miracles. You get to explore them all over again. <laughs> The day it was happening, the handsome Dan came and picked me up at the hospital, and Barry was down in the lobby playing the piano. <laughs> What else you got, Susan? Peter, what, what you got? Sore for us. What can we? What else can we do? Can we the... Okay. G.
It had to be you It had to be you I wander around Finally found Somebody who Could make me be true Could make me be
some harmonies I'll do it, yeah. Of course I will, Susan. Well, I do when you his buttons. Get him to do a song. He can be stubborn. what songs we do. We have to write them down. Uh, okay, that's the one you do El Capola. Yeah, yeah, that's the one you sing. That's the one you, you sing. What, why not? A, a stool for the, for the mic? How dare you? To bring it up or down? <laughs> Sing that? Okay. Yeah. No, yeah. No, we're yeah. Oh, yeah. He's going to sing El Capola without any accompaniment. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I did say something that, I, I mean, a cappella. I will clean my mouth. Here's a frog, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's going to be a, an animal act. It's Nick with his frog. 
why they, uh, they say never follow an animal. That's the one you do, yeah, you do that one as a solo act. Yeah. Yeah. Well, do that one. Yeah, you don't know if it was tough on both sides. Yeah, but that's about to be careful because it's aimed at the DA, so they might get some feet in the hand. Tendency. Ready? You understand how it works. Yeah, just saying. No feet. Oh, yeah. Leave it like that. Well, no, it's pointed right at the DA, so. If you're standing there, probably won't be that, but it's losing the movement. Move the mic in the other direction. Because it's pointing right at the speaker. <laughs> you wonder why it's howling. Well, oh, yeah. So you were just straight in. Some howling. Yeah. 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 Never mind. It's just an artist. Yeah. Just yeah. 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 Yeah.
tired of you. When stars grow tired of gleaming, when I am tired of dreaming, then I'll be tired. is true when winds grow tired of blowing grass is tired of growing then I'll be tired From day till night, till wrong is right, till the birds refuse to sing. Beyond the ear, the echo of my own love will still be whispering. Whispering. If my throbbing heart should ever start repeating, that it is tired of beating, then I'll be tired.
That's why I put them out there as teasers. We're getting aggressive with our marketing. Oh, wow, it worked great, too. Great. Uh, well, we have a customer that decided the colors. Well, that's for, that's for James. Yeah. Well, yeah, the two um, bright colors are, are kind of kind of prototypes. They're samples. Uh, they're for sale, though. Some yeah, they're not even released. They haven't been announced to the public yet. Pink and green? Oh, we've got them in stock for you. The pink one? I've got green. The green we've got um, good good supply of because that's that's our most popular. As I said, the uh, the orange and pink, but the public doesn't know we have them. We don't have those in our catalog yet. This is a pre-release. It's like Bob's CD party. You want the pink one? All right. I'll be taking this one, sure. And these one other one. This is for Jane's birthday coming up. I hope she's not watching.
That's Peter Allen. one in forever. Just a dream or two. I've got lots of plans for tomorrow. All my tomorrows belong to Right now, it may not seem like spring at all. Drifting and the laughs are few. I've got rainbows planned for tomorrow. All my tomorrows are blue. No one knows better than I that love keeps passing me by. That's fate.
dreams I dream, beg and borrow. Sun bright tomorrow, they all come true. All my bright tomorrows tomorrow's, all my mananas for those out there that thank you <laughs> when somebody loves you it's no good unless she loves you Oh, I, I had no idea. Already? I didn't know that, Rich. Oh, together. Beyond the crowd of the world. We're not too proud to cling together. Star with day, we're not in vain for we are together. What is there to fear together? Our love is as deep as the sea. Our love is as great as a love. The great unknown If we're alone together Okay, who did that one, Paul? This is a test No, it's one of the good ones But it wasn't the primary one Dietz and Schwartz 
Things in shorts. Shorts? Am I blue? Am I blue? Ain't these tears in these eyes telling me? Test it out over here, Bill Jenkins. No, I got sound over here, Bill Jenkins. You're having some problems over on your end there. Of course, you can't hear me, so why am I talking? Uh, just Bill Jenkins is having some. Oh, Barbara says it's back now. I guess it was a dropout. I was never spellbound by a starry sky. What is there to move on when love has passed you by? Then there stars, but just by you. At last, the next love has come along. My lonely days are over. And my Life is like a song. At last, the skies above are blue. My heart was wrapped in clover. The night, the night I looked at you. I could speak to a dream that I could call my own. I found a thrill to press my cheek to a thrill I've never known. You smile.
Christ. We got some, yeah. That's the musicologist. I'm making a start. One guy's asking the nurse for a scalpel, and Barry's asking for a particular song of the name. What would the song be he would be asking for? So this is Barry? No, that's Barry. Oh, I don't know. Let me think about that. Well, it sounds like it'll have to be funny, too, or funny type. But that makes it funny. Something pertaining to that scene. This is the end of a beautiful friendship. It ended a moment ago. This, this is the end of a beautiful friendship. at each other that was the end of a beautiful friendship and just the beginning of love picture you on my knee stay for two two for tea and vacations we won't ever know that we own a telephone dear day will break and you'll awake start to bake a sugar cake for me to take for all the room to see stick around people we got a big air coming up next we can talk him into coming up. <laughs> Paging Barry. Thanks, everyone. That's for you, sir. Oh, wow.
played that for Barbara Fisher when she was. She asked me to play that.
try to think that I don't know. <laughs> Thank you.